Hey boys, welcome back to uh, some more discussion about Rugby League Live 4. So with with the first gameplay getting released, uh, the same guys that brought you that, press start here, they also uploaded, or not uploaded, they put on their, their website here, um, the tips and the controls for um, Rugby League Live 4. So we got the, uh, the tip screens. They put all the tip screens and the I think the controls are here as well. So I'm just going to go through all these, and there's actually like quite a bit. So I was I had a quick scan through, and there's like so much stuff here. So, and this is why, this is why I'm just a little frustrated. Like, you know, they get like guys like this to um, they let them have an early copy. Okay, they upload a video, and they upload the video not playing well. They're playing against the easiest difficulty. And of course, people are going to look at that and be like, wow, the game looks terrible. Like, if I if I had no interest in the game and I just saw this as a League fan, I'd be like, it doesn't look very good. And it doesn't illustrate it well. If we look at all the controls here and stuff, they did nothing. <laughs> they did none of this stuff. So, we're going to have a look here. So, first up, you got tries. So, U-square, uh, regular try attempt, double tap for the diving. Same as usual, and uh, here we got on your way to the try taunt with triangle. Uh, be careful with diving tries as they may get uh, caught for a spill the ball like last game. But the uh, the taunt is back. I know some people are happy about that. Um, taunting, yeah, it's always a good thing in online and stuff. Uh, but let's get through this. So controlled movement first off here. Hold down L2 when approaching the ball carrier and tackle. Controlled movement will compress your defense line and lower the possibility of offloads. Now, it just, I, I'm interested to see how that works during the game. Like, I, I want to see what the, uh, you know, the negatives for that are. It seems like if it is, so the wording is a little strange. So I, I'm guessing if you move in one, one guy, hold L2, it brings your full defensive line in. Because it says it compresses your defense line. So I'm assuming maybe the risk with that is if they spread the ball wide. So, you know, there's that, which is pretty cool. Uh, another very cool thing here, foresight mode. I'm very keen to see what this is like because it was not shown in the gameplay whatsoever. Uh, press D-pad down to bring up foresight tactics. Select options with D-pad left, D-pad right to indicate the strength and weaknesses of players. Players will be highlighted in a gradient of colors from green, best, uh, to red, worst, for the highlighted attributes. Options from left to right are stamina, strength, uh, fitness, agility, speed. Um, I'm assuming, like, this one's confusing. <laughs> does this happen, like, does this happen during the game? Like, are you looking at this during the game? Or is this, um, like, on an like looking at your play, I'm assuming, I actually don't know, <laughs> I'm assuming it would be like when you're looking at your play, I, I actually don't know when you'd be using this, if it's like during a game, I don't know why you would, but it's it's interesting, nonetheless, like you can see all the weaknesses and strengths, Um, I don't know if you can look at your opposition like that in the same way, I'm, I'm, I'm keen to see, uh, next up, interchanges, interchanges have been changed drastically, as we will see here, Interchange using the touchpad, which is good. It's a you know nice handy button to use. Honestly, highlight the player you wish to substitute with the D-pad up, D-pad down. So obviously you just cycle through uh, the players till you get to the right one. Highlight the bench player you wish to come onto the field with D-pad right, and confirm the change with D-pad right. Sub uh, substitute field players with low stamina or injuries with a fit player on the bench. Uh, watch for restrictions placed on number of interchanges allowed in a match. So interchanges are all done on the fly. And uh, that was one thing you could, you can pick up in the, the gameplay video. I think it's around two, three minutes. You can see a couple of, I think it's Sharks players, they come on the field and then a couple of them, well, obviously two ran off and then two ran on. So that's, uh, that's really cool. Uh, next up, offensive tactics. Press D-pad up to bring up the offensive tactic options. Use D-pad left, right to select the play you wish to use. When selecting a desired play, press D-pad up to change immediately. The options from left to right are crossover, hit up, out the back, inside ball, and kicking play. Now, unfortunately, some good and bad here. The bad is that there only seems to be those. Now, they, they seem pretty good. Like, I'm pretty happy with all those. Like, you know, they're all 
pretty basic and they're all like, um, you know, they're the ones you'd see in a game. They're nothing too special, but um, it, it definitely will add a lot. Uh, it is a shame that there is, it doesn't seem like there's the ability to customize your own and it seems like that's all there are. Uh, but the good thing is, is that you've got these, but then you've obviously also got just the line running because if you watch that gameplay, he didn't use the D-pad. Like, you didn't see him cycle through any of the, um, what's it called? The plays. So, obviously, just during a game, you've got those line runs and you, you saw it during the gameplay, all the different line runs and all that, but then you've also got the actual set plays, which, I, I you know... I had some pretty good depth because when I saw the when I saw the gameplay, I was a bit like, "Oh no, is that is that the set plays right there? Like the lines are they? Is that it?" But it seems like you got those, and then on top of that, you've got the the actual set plays that you can set up for. So that's pretty cool. Uh, defensive tactics: D pad left, D pad right, slide defense right or left. Pretty pretty basic. And then D pad down, drop bring it, uh, wingers back, bring wingers up. So yeah, pretty um pretty standard right there. Uh, nothing, nothing too new right there. It does have a, does have a pitcher here. Um, you know, it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, quick play the ball. To play the ball efficiently, sprint in with R2. So, it seems like they got rid of the, uh, the wiggle. Uh, unless that's further down. They, they got rid of the wiggle and you just sprint in. And I, I guess... It sort of seems like a balance change because my initial impressions is, you know, the wiggle, you'd, you'd spam it. Like, you just spam the wiggle, you'd get penalties, you'd get the odd quick play the ball, that sort of thing. But with this, you have to sprint in with your dummy half, and I guess it would fatigue him out. So, do you do you go for the quick play the ball, or you just sort of, you know, get a little bit of breath back? Um, I guess that's, that's how it could be. Uh, attempting a quick play the ball can result in a held-in tackle penalty. So, obviously, there's uh, some bonuses there, you know, like last game, uh, fending, use the right analog stick to fend an opponent, use fence to break the line and push, uh, would be tackle out of the way, pretty, pretty self-explanatory right there, the tries, uh, it's got it again, goose steps, uh, goose steps will be taken automatically if a defender attempts a dive tackle, okay, that's, that's very interesting, okay, that's, that's actually very interesting, this may result in an ankle tap causing you to stumble. So that's gonna that changes the game completely from Rugby League Live Three. So now you you cannot you cannot spam the diving tackle because if you if someone attempts a dive tackle, the goose step they'll just do the goose step. Now obviously with that uh, you can either ankle tap. I'm guessing you just can't with the diving tackle. You just don't make the tackle. I. I'm, I'm interested to see how that plays out, because if you do a diving tackle, like, right in front, is it, is it still going to do that sort of ankle tap animation? Uh, I'm very curious to see how that will play out, but I, I think this is a, a really good change, honestly. Like, it's going to make the goose step actually good, because it does it automatically, and uh, the diving tackle is still useful if you're, like, trying to run down a, a an opponent, but it you can't just spam it, so I think they've done a good job there. Uh, bomb kicks, hold L2, display the kick targets, aim, hold circle to improve accuracy of the kick, and I think that's pretty much the same, like I, the animation, like the look of it in the game looked a bit different, like there wasn't a line stuff, but I think, I think that's the same controls, <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I think that's pretty much the same, um, holding down, hold a play down with uh, right analog stick or X, Utilize this when the ball carries down to prevent, uh, prevent them from playing the ball. Listen for the ref's call to avoid a penalty. This can be best utilized to get to your defense line, defensive line onside. So yeah, ho I'm hoping there's a little bit more tactics with the uh, the holding down. Like I hope it's not. Yeah, I, I just hope there's a little bit more tactic. Like hopefully some tackles you can hold down longer, some you can't. Um, we'll see though. Uh, pass the playmaker. Same old, same old there. Anything else? Yeah, nothing really. Uh, kick off. Uh, this is different, actually. <laughs> to, uh, to actually kick, it's the right analog stick. You actually hold it down and then uh, push it up to confirm the power. You know, I, I don't mind that. I actually, you know, I prefer, I prefer like, holding the analog stick down to sort of, like, charge it up rather than just 
pressing uh, pressing the button. Ah, I, I sort of like that. It's not a big change though. Um, interchanging, so here we go. Here's a picture of it. Press, um, you know, the touchpad there. Cycle through the plays you want. And uh, yeah, we talked about that before. Contested catches. Use R to tap the ball in the direction you want, same as last time. Press X to catch the ball. Press square to perform uh, to perform a drop down try. And uh, press triangle to tap the ball straight back. So the square must have been like the Vunivalu try we saw in the, the initial gameplay. So you press square um, and you pretty much catch and put the ball straight down. Uh, X, I wonder if... I don't know what the difference is though then. Oh, I guess, you know, you're not going to press X if you're not on the try line. So you press X if you, you're you not going to score a try, if you're like 10 meters out or something like that. And uh, triangle, tap the ball straight back. So that, that's actually pretty good because sometimes with the right analog stick, you couldn't really get the right angle. But if you just want to go straight back to a player, just press triangle. So uh, that's pretty good. Watch the power meter and press the button when in the green zone. So there's actually indication of when to go for the catch uh kicks to touch same thing it's got that uh right analog stick power which i i like i like that uh call for the ball so i'm beer pro mode press triangle to call for the ball when not holding the ball use kick controls to get a teammate to kick for the ball uh kick the ball okay so we we do have calling for a kick which is very very good i i really wanted this to be in it was very annoying not being able to do it so what, what is it again we're not holding the ball use kick controls to get a teammate to kick the ball so I'm, I'm assuming if you want them to put up a bomb you just sort of do what you would with the bomb so l2 and then circle and if you want them to punt you would go l2 x i'm assuming uh so that, that's good. I'm glad there's call for kicks. Uh, passing tips, uh, playmaker, draw and defenders, watch for support runners, cut inside or outside to gain a blah, blah. To pass directly to the first receiver, hold L1, R1. Yeah, same old, same old there. Field goals, hold circle to take a field goal. Same, uh, same thing as last game, drag tackles. Drag a play in the tackle by using the controlled movement with L2 and R. So you've got to use, you actually do have to use the controlled movement tackling. You don't just do the tackle. You actually have to do the controlled tackle and uh, the R. So we didn't see that in the gameplay. They didn't use any of the dragging tackles or anything. Uh, this will push the ball. This will push back the ball carry and stop the gaming meters. Uh, offloading tips. Offload early for a safe pass. A late one can be dangerous. Uh, the later you offload, the more likely it is the ball will go to a ground, uh, go to ground or f or forward in the pass. Uh, use L1 or R1 to offload. I sort of, so they say later is worse. I would sort of like there to be a negative and a positive. Like the positive being, if it pays off, then it's it, the offload gets you on the. Adv I, I mean, it probably just does. You know, if you do a later offload, the chance is high that it'll go forward, but also you know, your play is in a better position, so, yeah, uh, grubby kicks, tap X for a short grubber, a hold for a long one, same as last time, uh, yeah, pretty much the same there, goal line dropouts, same thing, the, uh, the right analog stick, they've, uh, they've obviously changed that, uh, the bomb kicks, I, uh, I've already, yeah, I've already gone over that, the, the toe poke, hold X, it's toe poke a loose ball, same as last game. Tries, already went over that. Sin bin, <laughs> continuous held uh, and tackle penalties result in sin binning. Players will see warnings from the ref before sin bin, same thing. And then the last one here, big hits. Uh, press R3 when near the ball carrier to place a big hit. These will drain your stamina, but can result in a ball spill. So we saw quite a bit of that in the gameplay, and it's a, it's a very welcome addition, um, you know, because big hits should drain your stamina like this, but they should also, uh, they should also give you a, a bonus if they, you know, if you connect, and that is a chance of a, a knock-on. So like I said, we saw it a bit, and, uh, you know, some good stuff here. So that's, uh, that's all the tips. Um... I thought those were meant to be controls. Maybe the controls are on a different, um, 
like an actual like list out of controls. I'll uh, I'll have a look at that. But um, yeah, this video just going through the tips. It, it actually highlighted like quite a bit of new stuff and some interesting stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Look forward to more in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one.